Hey guys, it's FIFA Valley here and welcome to episode 48 of Let's FIFA 13 and as you can see I sold on almost every single player in my club and the reason for that is because you guys wanted me to build a very expensive squad and uh, I did make a loss on Inform Neymar but I do make it back on selling on another Ibrahimovic so about 140k loss on uh, the Inform Neymar but on the two Ibrahimovic's I've sold the past week I do make about a 150k profit so it does make up for the loss and uh, because I sold on the, uh, let me see, the reason why I sold on my skill squad is because the squad you wanted me to build to replace the Scandinavians was very expensive. So I had to go with a bit of a cheaper skill squad. And this skill squad will have a bit of Colombians in it. So on goal we have Anoya, really good all-round stats and one of the better keepers in the game. Center backs, Boateng and Felipe Santana, both with great pace defending and heading stats. Right back we have Anai, 85 pace and high defensive work rate. So uh, interesting to see how he will work out as a right back. Left back we have Armero, 88 pace, good at passing, dribbling and defending as well. Defensive mid we will have a Gravin, again another player with a good all round stats. And looking forward to trying him out, he does have great pace and defending for a defensive mid. Uh, and then the other defensive mid will be Rosenai, 86 pace and high defensive work rate. So uh, he seems to be a really good player there and he does link up with a Quintero as well. Offensive mid we will have Ronaldinho and we'll see how he works out because in this formation the offensive mids works quite a bit like wingers so if he is too slow against the, the right back left backs he might be changed around for Jetson instead. Uh, and then Ortega and Quintero the Colombian 5 star silver players both with 85 a pace and as the striker we do have no one else than Falcao and he is quite similar to Ibrahimovic just with a 4 star skills instead so looking forward to trying him out as well so that is uh, the squad to replace the skill squad and then the squad you guys wanted me to build with a lot of 5 star players in it as well and very expensive on goal you said I could get Helton or Lurie so now that I know I do have spare coins for Lurie I might pick him up instead because Helton didn't impress me in the first games I played with him but uh, center backs Mangala, Koscielny and Pepe both with great or all three with great pace defending and heading stats then on to the interesting part, left mid we will have Nani, 87 pace and I wanted to play with him for quite a while and he does also have 89 dribbling, A1 passing, 80 shooting and 5 star skills. Center mid, Homotinho all round really solid stats and he does have a high defensive work rate and I might pick up his inform version because it looks very good. Uh, left forward we do have Cristiano Ronaldo, the expensive player of the squad. Great and pace all round, amazing stats, 5 star skills and he did cost me 1,460,000 coins so very expensive. Then as the striker you guys wanted me to get Ibrahimovic and then right forward Menes and center mid Mvia. But I, could, I couldn't afford it whatsoever. I might be able to just about pull it off. But then I couldn't get any substitutes whatsoever. So I went with a cheaper solution. With Wellington and Magidi as uh, the, the two strikers. Instead of Ibrahimovic and Menes. And then uh, Diera on the center mid instead of um, Villa. And uh, they all have quite similar stats. Uh, and I'm really looking forward to trying out Magidi again. And the final player of the squad will be Ben Arfa. 83 pace, 5 star skills and great at dribbling as well. And that will be all for this squad. Looking forward to trying it out because it have a lot of opportunities going forward. I might be a little bit worried about the defense but we will see how it goes. So going into my first game and I wanted to go into a tournament game but couldn't find a single game. So it ended up being a division game and I would create a lot of chances in this game. And as you can see on the corner here, I do play ultra defensive and the reason for that is basically the right mid and left mids in this team are very attacking. And uh, when uh, my two uh, center mids, if they go forward, I will pretty much be lost on the counters. So to keep them a bit more defensive, I went with the high uh, ultra defensive work rate. Uh, also defensive approach because I would, would like my center mids to be a bit more defensive and work, work a bit like a defensive mids but he will get back into the game there making it 1-1 and then I wanted to test out Ronaldo he does some nice stuff here getting past the defender and he gets a shot in on goal but unfortunately it does not go in but just before halftime Inani on the ball doing some nice stuff here getting past the defender and in the end he will win me a corner and he did take his keep out on a few of the corners I managed to get in this game. So I thought, let me try and put a little, little bit further out into the box. And that will pay off. Look at that finish by Ronaldo. And the keeper is trailing in the middle of nowhere. And what a nice goal there. Hitting the bar to make it a 2-1. But he will get back on a corner just in the start of the second half. Making it a 2-2. 
but I didn't want to settle for that and I will make my way into the box with Nani and how is that not a penalty? He does make a slight tackling, does hit nothing but my player. I couldn't believe that wasn't a penalty but I pushed it back straight away and I will find Wellington with the dummy on the edge of the box working so well and I do make it a 3-2 and then in the 19th minute Magidi going on a nice skill run. No, none of the skill moves were spot on, so not the perfect skill goal, uh, but some really nice stuff here getting into the box, and he will hit it into the back of the net to make it 4-2, and that will be the end of the game, and a very fun game to play indeed, had so many opportunities going forward, so I thought, well, let's uh, play another game with this squad, very fun indeed uh, to play with. And I go into another division game, and I come up against a pretty nice uh, Premier League side there, uh, and I will get the game started here in the middle of the first half here Wellington some nice stuff here getting past the defender and he will put it into the back of the net to make it 1-0 and I would keep on creating chances in the second half here another bicycle kick but his defender will save that one and then Ben Arthur on the ball some nice stuff here finding Wellington and he will do some more nice stuff and cross it in and in the end it will fall to Juan Moutinho who gets a shot in but it goes just wide and I will go on to create another really nice chance this time around with Magidi. And this skill run is quite amazing. Taking out so many players here with so many different skill moves. But in the end I pass it and I should never have done that. I thought it was a 4 star player and it, and it was not. And I end up losing the ball. And in the end he will get a goal there on the rebound to make it 1-1. And that is how the game will end. But uh, it didn't bother me too much. I had quite a lot of points in Division 1 already. And I did have a lot of fun playing this game. And that will be, be pretty much all for this episode. I will have some gameplay with the Colombian Brazilian squad for tomorrow's episode. And uh, that will be all. I hope you did enjoy it. And I will talk to you later. <laughs>